All right. Now I'm doing a tutorial on how to create like a silk texture for um, Photoshop. Um, the version I'm using is CS4. Now first you want your um, you want to pull up a blank document. All right. Um, all right. Image. Okay. Fill. Fifty percent gray. Thank you very much. Now, normally, um, I usually use the dodge and burn right here. Burn tool. Right. And um, just use the default Photoshop brushes. Exposure, I usually set it between 50 and 60 percent. You could try it like that. But, you know, just start, you know, kind of doing whatever. Doesn't really matter right now. I just get some good dark areas. Maybe let's see where the dodge. Don't want that. I'll show you in a minute. This is how you create folds, really. The silk will come after I've done this. Um, you want a diameter of this bigger than what your main thing is. Um, for the strength on the smudge tool, this is what I'm using as a smudge. So I usually set it pretty high. Let's see, about 52. And you don't want a lot of hardness. You want it to be a really soft edge. Just see in a moment what happens with this. Now, if you don't have enough RAM, you may want to set, you know, mess with your settings a little bit and make sure that everything else is off in your machine. But you can already see the the way this this is building. Starting to get some really interesting texture. Okay. I'm going to pause it for a second and finish out this um well, this fold area. It takes a little bit of time. And I do have brushes that make it easier, but I wanted to make sure that people knew you don't necessarily have to use a pre existing image. You can make your own folds. And you make them look pretty convincing, too. And just keep on smudging until it gets to what you want. Now, granted, because you're on 50% gray and it's an RGB, you will have to desaturate this because there are, if you notice, there's like some pixel tearing going on and there are some different colors mixed in with this. And that may not be what you're, you know, going for. And also, it'll, it'll disrupt the way that the silk, the way that I create the silk texture. You don't want all those colors in there because, trust me, it's very difficult. You just want as smooth as you can get it. I'm just going to try make some interesting things here. Let's see. Here we go. It's like a fold there. See it's starting to look like cloth right now. That's pretty good. Now, let's see if we can make this look like silk. Okay, first thing I do is I add an adjustment layer. And um, 
I push at the levels a little bit just a little kind of bring the highlights out a little bit more you see you don't have to do a lot you can even push in the shadows and this is an adjustment level so it's not permanent you can always you know do something else let's see well, let's add a curve layer okay I'm going to put that above the levels. Now this is really interesting. Once you get the hang of it, you'll find that this is really a unique way to make the silk texture. You just start bending this line and you can already see there's some um, values coming through that are very silk-like right here. Depends on how much contrast you want. how silk like you want it. There we go. Or, I mean, it even starts to look like metal after a point, which is rather neat. Okay. And you can mess with the, metal, uh, the levels after you've placed it. So you end up with some really interesting effects. And um, since these are adjustment levels, you can go back in and modify the original image a little bit. Start doing some different things and you can see what really what the um, final result is going to look like while you're working, which is cool. You can go in and add some more folds if you want. I always find this kind of fun to do, especially if you're drawing clothes. You just kind of put them in there. And you notice there's like a rainbow effect going on. That's easy to fix. I'll show you in a minute. And since you know it's on a 50% gray, you could change it to almost any color you want. And I'll show you how to do that too. And that's really fun. Okay. All right. Now to um, desaturate it, you could just go to Image Adjustments on the gray layer. Make sure you're on the layer that has the gray. Image Adjustments, and then um, set desaturate. And you can see that some of that stuff is gone already. Now for the banding, um, I haven't really found a good way around it other than, you know, to widen up your level space a little bit so that it isn't so crunched. And the same with curves, you know, just them a little bit so that they're, it's a little bit more natural lighting. It's up to you, really. I mean, sometimes silk does have that look to it. See, that's what it looks like without the levels and curves, and then once you put that on there, it's pretty easy. Now to set up, yeah. let's create a new adjustment layer and this time I'm going to go hue and saturation. Move it to the top of your stack here if it, and then you hit colorize. Ooh, pretty. Um, depending on how vibrant you want, you mess with the saturation. You have to hit colorize for it to you know, take over, but you mess with the saturation to make it more colorful and of course lightness that will determine um, how deep or dark the color is. And you can go red. Ooh, that's pretty. Look, that's really pretty. And of course, the light, lighter it is, the more of these highlights will be. So, I mean, it's a really, really fun way to create some satin folds. So if you're drawing a picture and say who you want a ball gown and for whatever reason it's not working out or you can't get that satin sheen this is a really easy way to do it it's just use gray the 50 percent gray and then go in and you know modify the levels and curves and you end up with satin 
I find it pretty darn easy. Uh, smudge that a little bit. There we go. Well, I hope you got something out of this, and I'll be making some more tutorials later. Thanks.